Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our game today at Maba Stadium between Lao and Singapore. A big round of applause. I would now like to introduce the, the Singapore team. Number one, Lim Jun Yuan. Number four, Jonathan Chiok. Number five, Wong Wei Long. Number nine, John Ung. Number ten, Leon Quick. Number eleven, Larry Liu. Number fourteen, Leon Chia. Number fifteen, Russell Lowe. Number seventeen, Ung Han Bin. Number eighteen, Mitchell Folkoff. Number 23, Delvin Go, and number 34, Lovin Raj. Coach is Frank Arcillo, assistant coach is Neo Nam Ken, and Joe So. For the Lao team, number three, Bun Tabi. Number five, Kim Wan. Number six, Salem C. Number seven, Pim Maksun. Number eight, Sipanon. Number nine, Chandipa. Number ten, Pet Money. Number eleven, Seng Saban. Number twelve, Puttashin. Number fifteen, Suntala. Number twenty-one, Chittagong. Number eighty-eight, Anupa. And the coach, is Lee Tadet and assistant coach Sun Wei. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, kindly stand for the national anthem of Singapore. Exchange of gifts. 
Well, hello and welcome to the uh, Marba Arena, the Marba Stadium, where this Group B tie is set to get underway as the 2017 Sea Games continues for uh, Singapore and indeed begins for Lao. It's the start of a new era for uh, Lao basketball making their debut. The umpires being introduced. Um, match referee, ahead of this basketball tie. Final warm up moments for. Both Singapore and Lao. So no official world ranking for Lao as they make their debut at the SEA Games at uh, this edition. This is confirmation then of the Singapore roster. Uh, Wang Wei Long, long time familiar name with uh, Singapore basketball indeed. Leon Quek has been superb in his uh, time with the national team. Delvin Go, the go-to man, big tall, likes to go on the uh, power drive, can play the big tall game. Uh, Lavin Raj also very tall and certainly has an opportunity to uh, show what he's got. So what we've got is uh, Wong, Liu, Lo, Go and uh, Mitchell Falkoff who are getting the starts for uh, Singapore, an opportunity for the Singaporean side to continue on their upward trend following their victory over Cambodia in their opening game where they only really came to life in the second and third quarters this basketball competition unlike more familiar NBA in the United States which is uh, widely watched worldwide is uh, 10 minute quarters that will be played confirmation then of the Lao roster so in terms of uh, the side that Singapore will be taking on today. They've got a couple of dangerous players, a couple of tall players as well. But uh, it's relatively new. That although the Parasport uh, wheelchair basketball team of uh, Laos has been uh, growing in stature in recent years. Confirmation then of the starting five for uh, Laos. Some say Pimason, Sipadon, Puttasen and Amun Pap getting their starts. Action to get underway shortly. The well, Singaporean squad have a fair amount of support that have made their way north from Singapore to uh, northern neighbours Malaysia to enjoy the action. Just about set to get underway on court for uh, the Singaporean side who find themselves ranked 82nd in the world rankings. It's uh, Franco Osego. He's uh, Australian while he's head coach of Singapore. Okay, you know what we're planning to do. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone of course for Singapore. And now, let's wish them all the very best. It's a historic moment for Lao. Litidet Kam Hong is head coach. His assistant Sun Wei. And there's Wong Wei Long. Very familiar figure. the jump off at Singapore who claim it and they are in position they play in the red with white trim traditional colors up against the Lao side who turn out in white with blue trim for their debut at the SEA Games they did participate in the uh, SEBA Games two years ago Singapore go on the attack it's one way long looks for the opening three hits the outside of the room and away so nothing in terms of success first up for one way long who at times can start to make shooting three-pointers look like free throws with the uh, ease at which he strikes. He's had his injury concerns, but none in recent times. Lao go for the opening points, falls short, bottom of the rim, and Singapore claim the rebound, take it forward into the Lao half court. Lovely play, little drive into the paint, going back round the outside, and Lumis is with his first attempt. Lao with a rebound. 
Looking to run it out of the area with uh, Anupab taking it up court. That's a good interception. Flick over the top, a little too long. This ball will go out of, out of play. But it'll be Singapore ball. And to put this in. Just trying to call his defence in as Liu lines it up for the opening points. It's taken over a minute to come, but a two-pointer was just inside the... Oh, three-pointer's been uh, given to Larry Liu, so he opens the scoring for Singapore. So is there a run to come? Now again, miss out. Fast break opportunity for Singapore. Go on the drive, drop the two. And I have one from the line as well. Apologetic hand up from uh, Anupam. And fouled his opponent as he went up to uh, lay it off the backboard. Just a delicate little touch. And the deftness of the finish. And adds the extra one from the free throw line. So Singapore go to 6 nothing lead. Liu fingertips on it, drives that ball away, only just, so far, he's got the points for Singapore. For Lau's first point, still not air ball, this ball a little unconvincing from uh, this Lau side. They're slowly starting to take steps into the international arena. They have no official world ranking. They've been affiliated to world governing body since 1965. There's Singapore now. The world ranking of 82 can't make the play, but a good recovery on the rebound and eventually is popped in by Delvin Go. Great control. It was the initial shot by Russell Lowe, but Delvin Go, one of the slingers, pops it home for uh, an extra two for Singapore. More points in the paint. <laughs> Wrong, wrong way long. He's, he's a natural leader on court. Brenner likes to call the play. He enjoys getting involved. He makes some very big plays when he needs to. Although he admits in his past he was a little wayward. That's Larry Liu. Well, there was a little bit of time there, just not taking the opportunity, put us in for this Lao side. Good little drive, but a better block, and Liu again goes on the break, unselfish, lays it off, and Go goes up for the finish. Swapped hands as he just finished that with uh, immaculate ease. There's an air of invincibility about a few of these players for the Singapore side when they get going. Could this be another air ball? It's still recovered though, pops it up for the opening two. That's Lau's first points, not only of the game, but of the SEA Games. It's an historic moment. First points for Lau. Scored by Anupab. Singapore immediately try to extend the advantage back to 10. Way, way long, missed out this time. Go takes it in for the extra two and does extend the advantage. At Russell Lowe, rather. Take the score to... 10 point advantage. No drive. Around yeah, the outside. Look to hit it from high, eventually pulled back, Anubab takes it in, again going a little on the drive, but good solid hand from Russell Lowe, saw that ball being driven wide, looking for the round on shot and makes the play, it thought about whether or not it was going to drop, eventually it does, and again it's an eight point ball game, much better on the finish this time, oh, go with a big foul, not going to get away with that, Go told to stop. Look at this for a play. 
Wonderful little round arm action. <laughs> Popped it in. Thought about whether or not it wanted to drop, but Pimason gets the uh, next bout of points for Lau. They at four. Singapore at 12. Inside the opening quarter of this game. Oh, trying to go for the dunk. Missed out the first time, but again uses the backboard and go adds another two. And Singapore make it a 10 point ball game again. Only just staying in court. Trying to call the play here is uh, Pimason. Made that fine effort a moment ago. They're not being given much space here on Lau. This is good pressure from Singapore. Falkov though can't put enough pressure and lands a big three from way out. Oh wow. What a shot from Pimason. Put under pressure. And just held up. Lau made a couple of great plays. And how's this for a shot? It was uh, Sipandon with the three-point play. It was a long way out. Lands the three. So there's some quality in the finishing from Lau. They just need to put it together, find a little consistency. Falkov in bounds on court now. Lim stays out so a couple of substitutes available always to call on the bench Lim is straight off the bench and looks to make an impact uh, eventually again after a little roundabout on the rim it drops for another two good on the break after that great steal from Lim Opportunity on the break. And well, it was an easy layout finish. This ball is rebounded kindly. Falkov has it under control. And that should have been a relatively easy finish. Shot clock counting down here. Needed to take the shot. Can't claim it on the rebound. So time out being called with 3.37 in the first down. It's still to go. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Is running down the court. Stop here. Right? Stop at the foul line. Got it? Right, don't go all the way down. All right? Establish yourself there early. That's all we've got to do. All right? Okay. Seal off. All right? Try and get some inside tough. Good penetration. You missed a layup. You missed a layup. You've got to be kidding me, boys. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. <laughs> So coaches with instructions, uh, it was clear that the uh, Lao coach wanted more on the rebound. It's difficult when the height advantage clearly with Singapore, of course. Lots of uh, drop and go, Russell Lowe. Oh, this is better on the block. Great play from Russell Lowe. He was the uh, high point scorer against Cambodia in the opening victory for Singapore at these games. Good little pressure on both sides, made the initial block, finishes it off under the buckets makes the play and will have a chance from the line to add an extra one as Singapore will try to take this game into their biggest lead so far currently 11 points this to go to 12 after being fouled in the act of finishing Substitutions happening. Both teams. 
falling on the bench. And adds the extra one, so it is the biggest lead of the game. It's a good dozen now for Singapore. As they lead against Lao. Fairly. Should be a fairly convincing victory, but Singapore will want to make it count. And as the coach pointed out as well, both Lim and Ern guilty of missing laps. Yeah, points in the paint. Singapore, so good so far. Larry Liu and. Uh, Russell Lowe, Delvin Go, all combining to uh, make points from the paint. This is a good little work with the outside arm, but how's that for the follow-up by Anupa? Puts it away. Second time of asking. It's a 10-point ball game. Singapore looked to strike back immediately. It's a fine display from uh, Lau at times. Just not finding the consistency in the early stages. Drive by Lim. Takes it to the paint. That shot drops for two, so Singapore go back in front by 12 and will have another opportunity from the line. Lim doesn't drop the free throw, so he's just a layup and a free throw now. Oh, good little steal. Busy player on court. Now, where's the support? Decides where he wants to go. Had the opportunity to uh, go for the three instead, tried to go for the two, just took it inside. Rebound by Lim. Going around the outside, it's a better block, but it's unconvincing as well. It doesn't. The lack of control, perhaps, from Lau. Now, this is a tournament about experience. That would have been spectacular if it worked. On the fast break now, Lau potentially was a three on two, missed for the first layup, but the rebound is good and the follow up. Means Lau have another two points. And an opportunity for uh, put this in to add to his country's tally. And trail by 10, just under two minutes to play in the opening quarter. Garcia, Australian in charge of this uh, Singaporean side with a wry smile. Has been some uh, success for Australia, of course. Oh, good play again. Talk about the Australians, they've uh, just claimed uh, another major crown. This is not good from Singapore, though. You can't be missing shots like that in the paint under the buckets layups and not getting them to drop perhaps a repeat of uh, frustrations of the opening two quarters of the match against Cambodia where although they got the victory in the end they failed to quite make it count the entire way through it's only third and fourth quarters things really started to get going and one way long came to the proverbial party and two from the line here for Singapore is Leon Quick of the Slingers has a chance to land points from the free throw line. A shake of the head, giving away points when you're not landing your free throws. They've missed half of their free throws in the game so far. A little better. Now, now calling for substitutes. Chitakon is on. Good driving play, little switch play as well. Out. Uh, this time the uh, foul drawn. Chuck guilty. On the act of shooting, so doesn't go to the line. But now ball, they maintain a little pressure here on Singapore. Oh. Again, good drive, good vision, had the right idea, just lost control of the ball, sets it up for the three, not made by Singh Savan. And Lim with the drive, again he misses on the layup. And you can't fumble 
in your own quarter, losing possession. Disappointing for Lau. Back by go, Lim. Big drive in the paints. And foul called. Sings a run. Drive by Chuck. This is Lim a moment ago. Just a brush of the fingertips. Get that ball away from him. So to the line goes Chuck. Again, three of six free throws landed by Singapore. Got to improve your free throw percentage. Three of seven now in the game. Inside the final 40 seconds of this opening quarter, Singapore will take the 22 to 11 lead thus far. They'll want to increase that certainly as they edge into towards the second quarter. They really do need to improve their three point percentage. Better drive, good finish this time on the layup. 13 point lead, biggest of the game. Slowing it down, Sipandon. One way. Set it up here for a two pointer, makes the play. Lao go to 13. And Singapore strike at the buzzer. Great way to finish the quarter. Well, it looked good, a great arc on that ball. As Dalva Go punishes Lao at the very, very end. Final second, released it. Buzzer sounded as the ball flashed through the net. And it's not all happiness at the end of the opening quarter. Great little buzzer beating two to finish it off for Singapore. They lead 26-13 at the end of the first quarter. up certainly points in the paint Singapore leading the way they've got the taller players it's uh, wondered that that is the way they're going to want to play try to use the height advantage a couple of tall players that Lau have not always on court as the second quarter gets underway 10 minutes a quarter four quarters in this game magnificent team sport five out on court at any given point looking for the early score Lau opened the scoring in the second quarter Great little play, turned his back on his opponent, spun around and Pimason finishes. So Lao to 15, Singapore at 26, a lead of 13 at the break. Immediately cancelling out the opener by Lao in the second quarter. A good finish from Larry Liu. That's another two in the game. Big drive, no finish. Sipandon going down a little uncomfortably as well. Let's 
Pandon. Back up on court there. Let's see Pandon. Bit of hands. They're playing with a little more confidence now. Now just looking to have settled. Perhaps a few too many nerves in the early stages of this competition. This, this is Lau's first game of the tournament in Group B. Quick with another two for Singapore. They go to 30 now. Missed opportunity. Singapore on the break. Opportunities all around the court. Go backs off. Fails to make the shot. Backside of the rim, off the glass and out. Looking for players in space. Too much time. Perhaps a little uh, lacking in confidence. This is a better steal and play. Sipandon trying to go around the outside cleverly as well. Just shows the maturity about his game. Just slowed it down ever so slightly. Knew he had enough time to take that ball into the Singapore half court. Now 11 rebounds with 18 from Singapore. Another air ball this time. Far too long from Anukpab. Lovin checks in for Singapore. Ball. Not quite using his uh, size to Singapore's advantage there. And a real height advantage. You know, the robust player can uh, not necessarily bully his way in, but he can make his presence felt on court. A clear advantage. Falk off. Ready for the inbound, the uh, foul called on Singapore. So Lau with possession now. They're trail by 15. Singapore leads 30 to 15. Shake, shake of the head from uh, Chuck. Now again, little drive around the outside, Sipandon, got a high side of the court, another air ball, uses his height, Lavin, quickly to Chuck, on the break, goes up for the easy two, and a good play on the fast break, as Quick gets the Singapore points, Lau now for a fast break of their own, oh. the old switch play from Pimason, Looking for points in the paint to scrape the underside of the hoop as it drops sh well short of target. Well, Singapore are a country that showed signs of genuine improvement over the last few years. The men's basketball certainly. Now, now go on the drive. Quick hands, quick on the break. And Chuck unable to bring it under control. Falkov recovers. Levine unable to hold on to it. Wrong way long. Checks back in. Nim, Chonk and Wong all been used. Yes. Point guard so far. Levin can't control. Quickly forward here. Put us in. And Lau going. Rebound. Playing by uh, Chia. On the break. Oh, takes it in for an easy lap. Polkov with another two for Singapore. That's a pretty finish. And Falkov. There's a couple of points in this second quarter. Off balance. He made the shot as well, though. 
come up with a couple of tricky finishes is Pima Son in this game but on the break again looking for the finish he'll bag the two and he'll go to the line it's a cheer driving play on the break gets the bucket and wins the foul Okay. One, uh, uh, seven. It's a defense seven. Okay. Hello. Four. Uh, me, me, me. You come to yeah, you come to. Okay. Okay. Hello. Uh, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just keep sticking up so we don't get into a grind. The next thing, if they get back and set their zone up, and you perimeter guys are the ones that set up anything that happens inside. Right? If you want to throw the ball to Larvin, you have to give him a chance to be stationary. Right? If he's on the move to the spot you throw it to him, it's just a little tough for him to reel it in and then make it. Notes on timing, team play, and how to dictate terms to your opponents from the coaches. Singapore lead by 21, 36 plays 15 as they take on Lao in their second match of Group B. That's the opening match of Group B for uh, Lao. Play to get back underway from the free throw. has got one from the line he made the bucket before the timeout was called so this to add the additional one and Singapore have landed three from eight free throws in this game certainly not good enough you know, when you're taking on tougher opponents bench points they're uh, they've made an impact certainly Lau looked out another here on target but again well short just battling to find their range a little uh, venue manicured hardwood flooring for this court on the stadium serving as the venue for the basketball competition second chance points and buried Shear with another two Singapore go to 38 Drive and turn. A good little play here. Sam C. Has the extra one. After landing the additional bucket. The initial bucket. And Oh, oh. Singapore at 40. Wanting this to go. Extra one here. Much better. Composed. And lands the additional points. Foul called long before the shot was taken. And left two. Put us in, we'll go to the line. Doesn't drop, they don't get to 20. Not on this play to uh, Lau. It's 
Singapore in position. One way long. Goes around the outside. With that uh, percentage. Four of nine from Singapore. Firing an under 50% from uh, field goals. Three pointers and uh, free throws. Oh, they're struggling. Just, just, just not finding what they need to. They haven't attempted quite as many three pointers as they might have liked. This space being gifted to them. Falkov tries to go. Rebound initially claimed by Lavin, but now draw the foul. Rebound unsuccessful for Singapore. Well, there's a few watchful players sitting on the bench looking on. Foul count hits five and a quarter. Team automatically gets to go to the free throw line. Now, having made the first of those, go to 20. Still a 21 point ball game. Singapore leading. One way long. Quickly into Lao territory. Falkov tries to find Love in again. And draws the foul. And again, some frustration here for Putasen. Checking back in, Anupab. Good ball. She needed to be aware. This one doesn't drop. Rebound, not play. Lau come away with it. Supandon. Just a little. Uh, off to Pimason. Looking for the two-pointer here. It was a Chitakon effort that rebounds kindly for Singapore. Falkov now forward quickly. Chia sees one way long in space. Well, he had the option going for the three again. Nearly lost it. Tenacity of uh, one way long. He won back possession with a steal. Shot clock at six. Lau. Need to hurry here. Shot clock at two. Don't get the shot in. Has to be on the break. Well, oh, Russell low. Can't miss those. Outside of the rim and away. And Lau back effectively to where they started. Second chance. Points put away. Well, anybody could have had points in that play. Chittagong in the end is the one who benefits and Lau make it a 19 point ball game. Singapore lead 41 to 22. Falkov. Back with an Wong. Goes for two. Good little arc. The floated ball. really put themselves under pressure in terms of allowing the shot clock to count down low in this game although the Singapore defense is pressed pretty high throughout much of this match this cheer So two from the line for Lau. There's a foul count of Singapore. And it's already hit five in this quarter. Left short again. These are gifts. These are gifts. Go back to the days of uh, 
and even some of the greats. Charles Barkley, when he started his career, was firing at well below 50% from the free throw line. By the time he finished his career, he was up around 80%. That's the sort of improvements you need to make if you want to make an impact, because they are effectively free points. Just need to get the shots. One way long. Couldn't make the play this time. 20 point ball game, Singapore 43, Lao 23. Two minutes to go to the half time break. 10 minute break at half time. And, uh, two sets of 10 minute quarters either side of that half time interval. Yeah. Does not make this one drop. You'll have two at the line. Another foul drawn on the play. Well, Singapore just keep plugging away. That'll be among the plans. The Singapore side. This one drops only just. We really have shown improvement over the past uh, four or five years. They won bronze at the 2013 SEBA champs. And then won bronze at the 2013 SEA Games in Myanmar. They follow that up with basketball bronze in uh, Singapore two years ago that Seba champs 2013 bronze was the first medal for Singaporean basketball in 34 years going back to their uh, 79 bronze at the SEA Games again what we're seeing here is free throws being Missed both sides. Guilty. Three point is not landing. Free throw is not landing. Steel is on. And won it back. Volkov, good play. And another steal. Oh. Now showing some character and determination on court. Frustration sitting in here for Singapore. Timeout oh. call. โอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค
They've not been landing their opportunities though. She was a shake of the head. Just under a minute to go. Two half time. Walsing back on. John Ung. Well, successful with his first was Sipandon, unsuccessful with his second. Oh, Singapore, they were leading by 13 at the end of the first quarter. They've extended that lead, but not quite so significantly. Now oh, 13 points in both quarters so far. Singapore only 19 points in the second quarter so far. I don't know if an opportunity for uh, two from the line here. Chante Papit Savan. Guilty party. Leon Quick goes good. His second one at least. And who's uh, six foot two forward who celebrated a 21st birthday this weekend. Just two days ago. So 21. He came to the Singapore uh, Sea Games as an 18 year old. I recall, then impressed all and sundry. One way long. Then finds quick. Shot clock at six. Falkov goes for the shot. Still chance to find points here. Three pointer. Land short. That is the end of the quarter. A real opportunity for a buzzer beating three from one way long. Doesn't find it. Singapore, though, have a 20 point advantage come the end of the second quarter as we hit half time Lao scoring fairly evenly 13 and 13 in either quarter Singapore dominating in the opening quarter with uh, 26 they followed that up with 20 only in the uh, next quarter and at half time both sides a few things to consider certainly from the free throw line things must improve and a few more three pointers need to drop as well
Wrestling's Instant.
Set it off, about to start, we're underway. So, third period is underway. It is Singapore who lead by 20 at uh, the half-time interval. 46 plays 26. Fairly consistent from Lao. 13 points in either period so far. And then Singapore pushing forward in the early stages of this third quarter in an attempt to find the first points. They failed to do so. Ball out of play. Apologetic hands up all round. Some say apologizing to his teammates the idea was good execution less so but Singapore chance here Lim starting ahead of Wong in this third period Fulker for the recovery space again Lim sets it up and Singapore on the scoreboard first up Fulker makes a shot from Decent way out. So Singapore with the additional two. Liu takes it up to 50. Lau just not looking for the shots now. You see, the, the idea is. Look for your teammates when you don't have the shot available to you. What's a better option? A foul drawn this time by uh, Lau. Good pressure from Lau. Except for the fact that they look like they're rushing themselves when they don't need to. Another foul drawn. Lying prostrate on the surface, prostrate on the surface there was uh, Puttasen. And a little bit of a body check from Leon Quick. On the outside this doesn't work and on the fast break surely won't miss this layup guilty of missing his very first layup when he checked into the game in the opening period makes no mistake this time there's limb Singapore is 52 still searching for the first points of this third period are loud they don't find them here two minutes down Falk off. High court. Oh, that's a better finish and some uh, better interplay. There's quick found go. So timeout called. Just look back at that little finish. Quick picks out go in the paint. And this is where Singapore were really strong. This is the fast break that was finished off sublimely by Lim, not under any real pressure. Okay. Well, the arena is starting to fill up uh, a little more now, the Maba Stadium. It is a modern era, social media era. Everybody on a smartphone these days. Again, Lau failed to make the uh, play count. Falkov though. Can see of a little interference. So the violation. Now ball. 
Panulat Pimasom, top scorer for Lao in the opening half. Seven points in the opening two quarters. Foul drawn here. Again, it's a big play by Puttasen. Better from the free throw line. And the struggles from the free throw line for both of these teams. Sayam Se puts his free throws away. Lao at 28. Oh, that's better. Another good finish. 28 points the lead now. 28 plays 56. Singapore dominant. Only on the scoreboard, but they haven't been overly convincing. That looked like a good block, but it's been called as a foul. Oh, quick with a wry smile. He's going to make those plays every time. Oh, unbelievable! Unbelievable! Says the coach. Can't believe that that's been called. We'll have another two from the line here. Time to say. Uh, looked to be a good block from Quick. But the Uncorn umpires thought otherwise. So two for two a moment ago from the free throw line. 0 for two and that visit. Lim doesn't keep this in play. La ball. Oh, field goal percentage. It's, uh, a little lacking, only a quarter of their shots now. Field goals overall in the opening half. Seven of 13 free throws. This is well short. Wide as well, that disappointingly. Very low by Anupab. Falkov. Who eventually run the outside goes to go off the backboard and down Singapore make it a 30-point ball game 28 plays 58 oh, a little drive here it'll drop now oh, quick is having a Thoroughly enjoyable afternoon, he would feel. He's enjoyed it, even when the calls have come against him. Chantepa is out. Quick. Leaves the court. Jonan checks back in. Adds the additional one. Nailed the bucket for two. The additional one, another foul drawn here. This time it's Lao guilty. Go and go. And the 22 year old goes good. That is first. Loves that number 23 jersey, does Delvin go? Averaged uh, around 11 points per game at the last C Games. But he's big on all plays. And had a solid third place playoff as well. For uh, Singapore, made a couple of free throws right at the very end of the game when things were so tight against uh, Thailand in the bronze medal match in 2015, you might recall. Thailand were actually leading by six halfway through. But a phenomenal comeback yeah. by Singapore in the uh, fourth period. So then overtake Thailand and come back very, very strongly. And some of those free throws at the end really counted as well. Big three-pointer made by Wu Chingdi as well. 
seems so distant. But they're wanting to do something that they've never done before and they want to challenge for a gold medal at uh, these Sea Games. Another timeout called. Singapore leading 60 to 34. 538 to play in the third. Tsipandon, who's been leading the way for Lao. They're in possession. Right. Trail by 26. This will be a fairly convincing win, you would imagine, for Singapore come the end of it. The results, regardless of the performance. Oh, looked like it might have dropped. Doesn't find the drop a little violation in the uh, area put this in guilty this time Lovins check back in for Singapore and so to this man Wong Wei Long the man who's by some called the assassin for his ability to land three pointers and Lovin gets this wrong Immediately, the coach at the very edge of his technical area, screaming instructions to his players. This doesn't drop. Oh, still. Oh, wow, showing more character and determination out on court. Look for. Some more points here, the layup missed. Polkov comes away with it for Singapore. And Lovin in space, just bounces it into him. Looking for options, finds one way long. Now Polkov again. Considering options as the shot clock counts down, and went for the shot and missed it. Rebound to Lau. Slows down quickly. Wong read the play brilliantly, but the break is too good and the finish is sublime. Lao had another extra two, courtesy of Sulin Lat Anupab. We go to 36 in the game, four odd minutes to play in the third quarter. And good little round arm action. John Ong with the finish. Well, Singapore will be wanting to close out this victory ahead of their match against Indonesia to come. Will uh, be top of the group with two wins from two games. Indonesia have only played the uh, one match, a uh, victory. Vietnam currently third overall with uh, two wins, uh, two matches played, a win and a loss. Cambodia winless from two, and this is Laos' first game. Not only of these C games in Group B, but indeed the C games overall. So an auspicious day, but it's not turning out to be. The most fortuitous and loses possession. They really have showed that they've got some real character, some determination out on court as another jump shot is made, but just for two. Long way long. Can go on a real hot hand streak. Going around the outside, nobody there to mark him in the end. No pressure, misses an easy shot. Trying to go on the bunny here with a break, and it's a great layup for the finish. Chuck gets the extra two for Singapore. They take it into a 30-point ball game again. 66 plays 36, Singapore over Lao. Got to watch the team foul count. Once it gets to four, you know the next time there's a, a foul, regardless of where it happens and uh, how it happens. 
Our opponents will have a visit to the free throw line. And this is the concern here, as some say. And it's conceded the foul, and as a result, Irving has a visit to the free throw line. It's one from two in this visit. Oh, the rebound claimed, and the points are there. Singapore finishing up. And Hung Bin, he's been around for a while. Now 28, and Hung Bin. Now 29 of 56 free throws made. Landon, good block. Just uses the, the height advantage there, Lovin. Chuck, now wide, Wong. Lovin looks to get himself into good position outside of the room and away and holds on to it Wong goes through the center went up from the shots couldn't get the shot away we'll have two from the line here guilty party this time Chantepa Makes it look easy sometimes. Not the tallest player, only stands 5'9", among the shorter players in the, in the uh, respective squads. He too had a birthday recently. Just three days ago to celebrate his uh, 29th birthday Wong Wei Long better play again a little push of the backboard and in and Hung Bin love it forward quickly Not quickly enough defense drops back Wong Wei Long thought about the three points Some good pressure here from Still in light, Ahmed Butt. Nothing. Second chance points, but he's drawn the foul again. He's got two from the line now. Well, this is a quick play. And it's that fine two pointer. More points in the paint for Singapore. They've been really using their height advantage in this game haven't taken the opportunities from the free throw line and again illustrated by that effort has the opportunity to make it into two and does it's not a ploy that always works but indeed has worked this time 76 plays 36 it's now a 40 point ball game after that play oh three pointer how you like it from a long way out. Lovely play by uh, Sipandon. Immediately cuts that 40 point lead back to 37. I've spoken about the character and determination of this Lao team throughout this game so far. And Singapore have proved it time and time again that they have character and determination plenty. In tournaments still that fourth quarter comeback against Thailand for third place in Singapore 2015 just superb just superb oh one way long look at the handwork the speed the vision Lovin drops it for two again from the paint and he'll have a chance to add a one With a visit to the free throw line. Look at this from one way long. Oh, behind the back. Sends it out wide to Ung Hang Bin. Feeds it in back to Lovin, who drops the two and then adds the extra one from the free throw line. Five seconds in this period. Shot, is it going to come? Trying for a buzzer beater. That wouldn't have counted. A little too late for Lau. And the third period ends. 79 39. It is a 
40 point ball game in favor of Singapore well you talk about consistency Lao have scored 13 points in each of their three quarters so far so they've consistently kept up their scoring they've maintained that scoring rate for Singapore though they've been uh, a little all over the place but this a big scoring quarter as they land 33 points overall two-point field goals Singapore just over 50 percent uh, it's around about the 25 uh, percent mark for Lau and rebounds though more than double the number for Singapore Fourth quarter gets underway with Singapore leading by 40, 39 for Lao, 79 for Singapore. They turn out in red and are looking for a strong finish. They'd love to bring up the century of points, no doubt, against their uh, far less illustrious opponents, side that are making their debut in this competition, yes. this very game. Looking for the first points of this final period, not going to come here. Getting the layup uh, just a little wrong. Singapore though looked to hit back immediately. Nothing wrong with that uh, initial block. Looking for the rebound here. Singapore have had two chances. They can't land the rebound. Playing on the break now. Lau, good drive, and they do gain the first points of the fourth period. Great play and a fine finish from Soleno Lat Anupab. So Lau moved to 41. Singapore opting to go with Chuck starting as the point guard. Wong plays from out wide and looking for the three. Ng Han Bin misses out, but the rebound is good for Lavin, who adds the extra two and uh, reclaims Singapore's 40 point lead in this game. The Singapore side so good when they get flowing they do need to work on a few things three-point finishing free throw finishing maybe a little on one-on-ones as well and the uh, Lao coach though he's been talking all about the jump shots and there is a jump shot attempt from his uh, opponents John Owen goes up and misses Pandon being called for the foul. Two pointer here, try to use the backboard, missed out on it. George oh, just got a little messy, one way long, recovers. Wong still going. See space out wide, going for the left handed shot. It ranged a little too long this time from Unham Bin. And Lau with a chance to add to their tally here. <laughs> Don't find it. Bit of a pendulum motion, the hands got all wrong, and Ng's three point attempt fails as well on the break. 
Points from the paint on off there. Lau don't take advantage. This is uh, all a little untidy now. Love in. Under the bucket. Can't find the finish. Setting it up again. Wong just controls it. A little bit of a play. Shot clock at five. Somebody needs to make something happen. Where's the space? Shot clock at two. And Lovin got the shot in. Just rushed it ever so slightly on the rebound. Shot clock resets. Not to full 24, but to 13. The offensive foul. So Russell Lowe checks back in. Well, in the end, he was completely off balance by the time he took the shot. A little worrisome. Some say was just trying to get that initial shot in. There's the uh, bench of Singapore. One car seeing Arcego, Australian, who uh, started around the start of uh, 2017. Pointed officially, I think, back in 2016. Now well, Beng Xiang had guided Singapore to their gold, uh, their uh, bronze in 2015. And another turnover conceded by Lau. Gets in play. Lim should finish. Doesn't find the finish here on the layout, but it's recovered nonetheless by Russell Lowe. Popped home. And Singapore go into a 42-point lead. 83 plays 41. It's a slow start to this fourth period by Singapore. And might finish strong. And a two-pointer from high court. Was it called as a three? Looks like a foot might have been on the line. Either way, it's been called as a three. So I'll play 44. Singapore 83. After that shot from uh, Seng Saban. Sunway. Well, coach, just watching on. There's still plenty of aspects of the game to work on. Shot clock counting down again. This time, might have been some pressure, but Leon Quick shows no signs of it as he drops the two. And Singapore lead 85 to 44. Under pressure here, needed to let this one go. Trying to drive his way into a danger area. Good little pickup. Offered himself and after thinking about it rounds the hoop a couple of times before it eventually drops Lau with another two and it's that man Sipandon who's been doing so much for Lau Sipandon, Kim Son and Anupab have been the star performers certainly for Lau in the in this their uh, debut appearance Put us in as well. Fine performance. Another turnover here, and Russell Lowe will take it in for the easy two. 41 point ball game. Singapore to 87. An Australian unlucky number. Some believe 13 is an unlucky number. It's 13 short of a century. In it goes. Lim. Takes the Singapore score to 89. They're on a little bit of a run here, and as such, there are going to be changes. Okay, 
di Tomeng di Tomeng Jojo Jojo Oke gini gini Oke Some members of the Thai team watching on. Some of those members lost out to Singapore for the bronze medal at the 2015 Sea Games. Inside the final five minutes of this game. short of what he wanted to do and where he wanted to go. Now the block, big block from Chittakon. Lamin going for the two, drops the two. Singapore into the 90s. Forty-five point game, Singapore ninety-one, Lao forty-six. Is there a century in the making for uh, Singapore? They search for victory. They put ninety-five on the board against Cambodia in their opening game. Ninety-five sixty-four. Oh, short again from Anupab. Good little drive, good finish from in the paint again, Leon Quick. All it needed was a layup. And that'll do nicely. 93 48. 45 point ball game again. Here's Lim. Love in. Quick hands required. Driving play under the bucket. And has the free throw line to himself for two shots. It's time the call against Chittakon. Couple of players checking back in, including uh, Puttasen. Meanwhile, Leon Quick. There's another chance from the free throw line. Team Thailand. And I'll be interested to note that while this side is set to go top of Group B, Thailand in Group A, and while Singapore is set to go top of Group B, Following this victory, it will be confirmed by the result in a little under three minutes' time. I'll know that they are likely opponents in the knockout stages of this men's basketball competition. No. Second chance points not coming for Lau. There will be some frustration amongst the players on court. Then Hanbin. Marvin driving himself back, using his power, gets the two, uses the backboard. Singapore to 97. Century is certainly looking like uh, a reality. Just uh, likelihood anymore. Big third period that led to it. 33 points in the third period. And in she goes. Three-pointer from the near side. Great little play. Pannolat Pimmason. Now, reach the 50 point mark. As they go to 51, they hit back immediately. 
a little off this time from Han Bin. Lim lets it go. Lavin collects two players around him. Takes Singapore to 99 with that play. More points in the paint. So plenty of points off the bench for Singapore. And points of the paint. 68 plays 20. Well, it's been a dominant display in certain aspects of this game from Singapore. Great again, under real pressure from two players. He just drives in between Sipandon and uh, Putasen. And love in with the finish. Just rolls it off the fingertips for the layup. Not really a jump shot. There's a couple of uh, really good jump shots from Lau in particular. Some fading jump shots going. The coach has been encouraging. 90 odd seconds remains of this game looking for the three point it was good block by Lim who got up but recovered and it's not going to be dropping for Lau this time yes, Singapore Chok finds Lim Lin loses possession but finds Ng Hang Bin shot clock at six is there going to be a finish here off the backboard and indeed quick makes it a two-pointer from the paint and 101 as the century comes up for Singapore 50-point ball game now dominance was always clear from Singapore can they start to build their momentum can they find a little more consistency in the opening quarters second quarter only 20 points against the side that was offering points at one stage three throws left behind three pointers missed and then came back strongly in the third quarter with 33 points 20 seconds remain in this fourth and final quarter Lanin looks for the three drops it short it's the front side of the rim and away but the follow-up is good and quick looks it in 103 plays 51 they're over double their opponents now in terms of overall score just got to bounce this down and that'll be the end of it clock counts down that was Lau's first match the first performance as the basketball team in the sea games well they posted 51 their opponents posted 103 Singapore go top of group B with a convincing and resounding 100 103 to 51 victory over Lau 52 point ball game for Singapore's clangers now the cages and some clangers on court still a fine result 33 points in that third period really set it up nicely as they made 24 in that final period to just round out the results. Well, how they lined up against one another 103 plays 51 for Singapore the victory well they had more field goal attempts than uh, Lau but it's a conversion rate that counts only 18 to the 71 made by Lau Singapore at a shade over 50 percent which is just not good enough when you're playing the top teams they'll be well aware of that they'll like the fact that they got 68 rebounds there was a height advantage for them today but it's the points in the paint that was so impressive 72 points in the paint despite the fact that this is a side they missed several layup opportunities in the game overall. 58 bench points. It tells you something about the strength and depth of Singapore. Can they keep it up? Is there consistency to come? Can they perhaps improve on the bronze medal that they won of the last two Southeast Asia games? That all waits to be seen. But for now, Singapore, with this victory, go top of Group B. Top 
scores. Love in with some late points in the second or third periods and then finishing it off in the uh, fourth, 17 points in the game. Lotelat. Sipandon, top scorer for Lao with 15 in the game. And Darwin Go chipping in with 14 points for Singapore as well.